from the Ballard Civic Center and the dawn of the 2022-2023 hockey season is upon us. Rowan Dybo gave it up. Center your feed. Hayes won by the way and go for Gahawagi. This is the DDO Civics and the Gahawagi Mohawks. Here's a steal. Arister, glove save by Hayes Horn to start off this baby. Got a walkie attacking left to right, wearing black, gold, and white. And the Civics in the yellow with black and gold trim. Asher Merson getting the call for DDO as Jacob Paul sends one up the ice. Bella Deer overskating the puck, dropped it back. And the Mohawks come in offside. On yet does a James Day wearing number seven. He's flanked by Amonte Horn on the wing, along with Bella Deer. It's a line that's played for the Mohawks quite a bit last year. On yet does a James Day, of course, had six goals in that season finale in Huntington. There's a feed out in front, broken up by Nashton Mayo on defense. And it bounces up the wing. Amonte Horn had his stick lifted. That was Austin Russo and a shot from close range turned aside by Horn. Banked out the wall and up. Here's Liam Moody. Pass is taken up. Amonte Horn had it. Now it's taken back by Day, trapped along the wall, and shot back into the Civic's end of the ice. Back to get it for DDO is Kyle Mallingham. And it's Fan. And received by Day. He shoots it off of a Civic's defenseman and rated on Asher Merson, who will just stick this aside and keep this baby going. Brandon Dalfin, number 54, gave it up. And there's a steal, and away comes Gahawagi. Jacob Paul skating in. Paul trying to make the move to the backhand, had it poked away, and it's taken back by the Civics. Back comes DDO, Olivier Drainville. Oliver Drainville, sorry, 65. You might remember some of these names. The very first game that this team and this team played on film we have four years ago. Check it out, 2018 tournament uh, at Bill Dernan Arena. The Civics were under the Centennials name for that game. And that game ended in a 1-1 tie. While well, Hesu Perrett bangs one off the wall. Ajay with Dooney Homer on the wing and Jacob Paul trying to get the puck free and he does. Paul comes in and he found on the shot. Trying to play it back out in front. Homer ties his man up, takes it inside, back to the point. Here's a wrister and a good stop by Merson. And the puck is played by the defense of Hunter Jacobson. Wide of the Mohawks goal, Reese Dixon sending one up the wing. Gomawagi on a change, and Hunter Jacobs passes it to himself. Has open ice, bangs one up the wall, and it gets out the center ice. Monday, his pass picked off. Deer couldn't forward it ahead. Monty Horn intercepts that. Bella Deer trying to further one along. And that pass is picked off. Mohawks on a change. They better get back. Dixon good, doing a good job of tying his man up, and it's just forced to go back behind the Gahawagi cage. Picked back up by the Civics. 6.30 to go here in the first, so that pass is in, t intended for the point man. Pella Mallingham, and that's touched. And there's a lead pass up for Day, who could not catch it. It was stuck in his skates. Played up the wall, bank back into Gahawagi territory. There's a shot and a goal! Hayen scores for DDO. Jonah O'Hayen 
gets the goal for the Civics. And DDO's up 1 0. Russo played it up the wall. Take that, sorry, it's 72. He and Monday. Monday gets one up the ice. James Day with the takeaway, but he gave it up in the high slot. Civics don't get a shot off there. And that pass is played up to the opposite wall. Flickered off a DDO player and out the center ice. Intercepted by Paul, and now Day picks it back up. Day up for Paul. Paul tried to further it along. That pass picked off, and away come the Civics. Monday coming in. He's got some skating room. Has to get put the brakes on, and Hayes Horn turns that one aside. Off the high... Uh, the high slot chance. Back out in front. That pass picked off by Paul. Back to the point it comes. Bank back into the Mohawks zone. And that is Nash and Mayo banging one off the wall. James Day skating in. Trying to gather some speed. He gets it to DDO territory. Day backhands it over to Paul. Paul a backhander and that puck was on edge. He couldn't get a lot on the shot. Austin Russo getting in the way. And banged back in by Bootstan. Intercepted by the Mohawks and played off the wall. That's a Jay Wadooney Homer coming back defensively. Homer. For Wahesu Kurat, she shoots at the length of the ice. And that'll be icing on the Mohawks here with 4.33 to play in period one. The LHCO action will start in a couple of weekends. Jonah O'Hayan has the goal that has put the Civics up 1-0 here in Dollard Civic Center. Comes back to the point, shipped back in by Patrick Charbonneau. Hunter Jacobs couldn't play it further. Puck the flex on goal, Hayes Horn knocks it away. Up for Monty Horn on the wing, he gets it out to center. And away come the Mohawks, Homer skating in, Homer bodied. And a good job by Dolphin coming back to fetch it before the Civics. And back comes DDO. That's offside as Drainville couldn't hold the zone. Austin Russo coming in on the opposite wing and that'll be offside on the Civics with 3.56 to go. Hey, coming up next Saturday will be in LaSalle, Keith Emerson Emers Stadium. LaSalle Warriors playing host to the St. Leonard Cougars. There's a wrister, Hayes Horn pounces it aside. Jacob Paul turning back. Paul up for Karat. That pass is out of reach and played back in by the Civics. Hey, up for. Karat, who takes it into DDO territory, runs over a Civic, and now it's poked wide of Mercer's goal. Sorry about that, had a little bit of a technical mishap, but we're back here at DDO. Icing on the Civics, 1-0. There's 2.47 to go here in the first. One back to the point. There's a wrister, right on, and Mercer makes the stop. Good stop by Asher Merson through traffic. And now the Mohawks have to get back on the fence. Rowan Dybo, skating back. Bangs one off the boards, trying to angle it for his defensive partner. Deer vacated the zone. Amonti knocks it back for Bella Deer. Bella trying to get it out of the zone, tied up and BDO gets it away. That was ben Noah Benizri's numbers 81 on the poke, and away comes Bella trying to get it through, but could not. Now these, this is not the first time many of these players have seen each other. As the Mohawks shoot at the length of the ice, and we will have icing with 2.03 to go here in period number one. One back to the point by the Civics. And that hops off the stick 
of Liam Monday. Jacob Paul goes back to his own end. Paul feeds it up for Day. Day kind of busts through. Day puck on edge, poked off his stick, gets a one-hander off, and it's knocked back aside by Mercy. Back to the point it goes, poked up by DDO. And the Civic's trying to bust through, but it's broken up nicely and shot back in to Mercer. And Merson, oh, he thought about playing it, but thought better. And we'll have a face-off inside the Civic's zone with a minute 29 to go here in the first quarter. First period. See, I'm used to football. There we go, first quarter. Zachary Marmer on the draw. And back come the Civics breaking out. They got five up there. And that'll be offside. Shot hit the back of the net. Came back out the other side. Passed out in front. Nobody there for the Civics. Back to the point it goes. Deflected on route, but poked away by Mayo. And we're down to the final minute. Bella Deer tried to poke one up. That hits a body, stays into the Mohawk zone. And that feed is broken up nicely by Homer. Homer dancing in his own zone. Nice hand eye at the blue line. And Homer knocks it up to Amonte Horn. Horn for Homer. Homer trying to bust through and it's intercepted by the Civics. And back comes DDO with 30 seconds to go in the period. Knocked away and sent back into center neutral territory. Patrick Charbonneau shoots it in. 20 seconds to go in the period. Nastin Mayo has the man open on the wing. That's a good pass. Angled perfectly to Homer. Homer. Flicks one up to Paul. Paul coming in. Paul tries to pass one off. It's picked off. Played up to center ice. And away come the Civics with four seconds to go. They got to get a shot away. They're not going to. First period in the books. Civics won. Mohawks no score here at Dollard Civic Center. Back at Dollard Civic Center as we start the second period of play. No changes in nets. That was a really quick pace first. Belladira Monty Horn and what has to correct the line as it's poked away and a potential open opportunity. Shot rated, right Hayes Horn the save, a rebound poked into the back of the goal, they score. Jonah Grubstein gets the goal and it is 2 0 Civics. 15 seconds into this period. Here they come again. Zenery feeds, score! One timer back of the net. Noah Benzini, the one timer, and it is now 3 0 DDO. Two goals to 20 seconds. That's a good start to the second period for the Civics. Back comes DDO bringing it in. Pass is broken up. Paul tried to pass one off. That's taken away. And the Civics can't get it further. Benzini tied up by Homer. Comes back out in front. Intercepted by Day. James Day couldn't turn on the Jets. And taken back by the Civics behind the Mohawks goal. Out in front it comes, hit the post, the rebound buried in the back of the cage. Hoopstein's got his second, and the Civics have three goals in 53 seconds. The Mohawk 
Hawks making changes on the lines. Belladier coming in to play center between Carrot and Horn. Hunter Jacobs. Taken back by Amonte Horn and his pass is intercepted at center ice. Horn flicked one in. Onside, Wahesu Karat breaks in. She shoots. Score! Wahesu Karat scores. And the fireworks have started. We got four goals in 70 seconds to start this period. And while Hesse Kurat has the goal, 3 1, 4 1. And Kurat in pursuit of the puck. Right up the center. And back come the Civics. Pass the flex in, and that'll be offside. So we'll have a face-off coming up outside Gunnawagi's blue line. Four one. And shot back into the Mohawk zone by the Civics. Nash and Mayo has a look. Flicks one off the boards. And away comes James D. He gets the pass from Paul, and he tries to further it along. D in a battle along the wall behind the Civics net, and now it's picked back up by DDO. Mayo at the point, shoots it back into DDO territory. Played up to center and nearly picked off by D. D trying to find the puck. And it's pulled back out to neutral ice. Mayo coming back for the Mohawks. Nash Mayo has a look. Flicks one off the wall to Paul. Paul trying to hit his man up. Ajayla Dooney Homer kicks it into Civic territory. Homer taken out. Out in front, and that pass misses everyone. It skips to the point. Mayo keeps it in. Good job by Nash, and he'll further it along back into Civic territory. Back behind the net, Charbonneau. Up the wing, and the Civics break out the center ice. Pass was deflected on route. Marmer coming in. Marmer's pass, the flex on. Hayes Horn, a couple of saves, and a rebound poked away as Mayo introduces himself to Russo. Just some uh, early preseason chatter, that's all it is, as we have 7 a week to play in the second period. By the way, the only the only time these teams will see each other again will be a tournament game and or a regional game. So this may very well be the first time they, and the last time these two teams play head to head this season. Amonte Horn traps it, plays one up, and there's some room for Wahesu Perret. Drangle closing the gap. Perret shoots, and that just missed short side. She's put her dancing shoes on tonight. As the Civic shoot at the length of the ice. Pucks on edge, icing waved as it slows up and hits the wall before it ever got to the goal line. Right. And that took a funny hop off the wall. Knocked down by Mohawk's high stick. And now they'll blow it down as DDO did not touch it after the puck was knocked down by the high stick. Well, join us on Saturday from Keith Ewerson Stadium in LaSalle when the Quebec Midget Football League action continues. The LaSalle Warriors playing host to Greenfield Park. The Greenfield Park Packers, the defending champions of the league. All teams are chasing North Shore, though. The North Shore Mustangs, uh, large and in charge in that league. Gautnawagi has done this cross, plays for the team. And Friday night will be in Sherbrooke when the Lennoxville Cougars and Gonawagi side here host the Dawson College Blues. Gonawagi's pulled two acts on that team. Here's a feed out in front. Bella Deer couldn't hold it. Slapped off the wall. Stolen by the Civics. 
Here's a skip pass that hops back to the point. And Arista will sail wide. Behind the net it comes. That's intercepted by the Mohawks. And there's a pass up. Bella deflects it into Civic Cemetery. Icy wave. Puck will just roll on edge. And that'll be covered up by Merson. DDO has two goalies and we're reaching the halfway point of this game. So you wonder if the Civics may decide here to... I don't know about change on the fly, but you may consider something similar. Face off in DDO territory. Paul gets a shot away and he splits the uprights, but that's not worth three points in hockey. Back to the point it comes at the flex. Mayo cuts on edge and he does a good job firmly getting it back up to neutral ice. Civics are offside and DDO will have to retry it. Civics face off outside the Gahnawagi blue line. Mayo gets it to Paul. Paul trying to split the defense, could not. And there's a collision on the wing. A shot knocked down by the glove of Hayes Horn. A wraparound try stuffed out by two Gahnawagi owner. Back up that pass hits Jacob Paul in the skate. Paul settles it down. Paul backhands one up, trying to feed Homer. That pass is picked off. And the Jay Waduni trying to apply some pressure, tied up. Good battle, Paul with the steal. Paul skated into his own man, and the Civics picked one up. Jacob Paul out in front. Homer not able to receive the pass. Slammed off the wall. And angled back in by Nash Mayo. Paul coming in, nice move, Paul a shot, and he misses trying to go far side. There's a lead pass up the center ice. Away comes DDO. Drainville, love save, and a rebound pops wide of the target. Hunter Jacobs trying to knock it away. James Day comes in and introduces himself. Day had a man open, lead pass. And the Mohawks have a man in behind the defense. Shot, save, a rebound, sent wide. And cleared back up. Well, Hawaii trapped. And here come the Civics. Two on one developing. Backhander, did save by Hayes Horn. She stuck out the right pad on that backhand attempt. Spin around pass is broken up by Mayo. Well, Hayen, who's got one of the goals for the Civics on that dangerous opportunity. Mayo hooks one around. And the Mohawks flick one out of the zone. And all oh, the Mohawks caught changing. The period with the long change. Backhander, save, a rebound, set wide. Hayes Horn, good stop on the backhand try. Played up to the point, but not out. Here's a wrister. Caroms wide, and it's going to be picked off by the Mohawks. Up to the point, not out. Centering feed, Amati Horn back on defense, and he intercepts the pass. Lead pass for Bella, and Bella pokes it in. Played up by Dixon. And back on the Civics, breaking in. Centering feed, Hayes Horn! Post to post, sticks out the pad and robs a Civic player of an opportunity. Amante Horn. Lost the battle. Good job by the Civics player. Puck loose in the Mohawks slot. It comes back up to the high slot. Knocked down. Deflected. It goes back behind the net. Good pressure by DDO. Comes back to the point. And a backhand. 
between the legs pass was red as Liam Mundy set one up. And away come the Mohawks breaking in. Knocked away from Grayson Jacobs and St. the Lake of the Ice by the Civics, and that will go for an icing against Dollar de Romo with a minute 14 seconds to go in the second period. Well, it's not quite a change on the fly, but Asher Merson is coming out, and Kieran Gunipi, Zunipi, sorry, number one, is coming in for the Civics. Homer for Jake, uh, for Hunter Jacobs. And the Civics spin one out to the blue line. Intercepted. Well, Hesu Karat had that gap closed off, and Hunter Jacobs will have to skate back in his own zone. Jacobs off the wall. A feed is broken up by the Mohawks, and Homer turns on the Jets. Uh, Jay Laduni Homer skating with Day and Paul, or sorry, Paul and Bell, or Wahesu Karat, number 12. Here's Paul, had that space closed off, and Dixon comes back onto the ice at the nick of time. Two got no get on to her back, we're down to the final half a second, and Dixon gets that skate stick in the way. Jacob Paul back up the other side. Trying to find this one, he does get it to the point, but not out. Dixon back up to Paul. And Paul one hands it over. Here comes a Jay Duty Homer. He's got some time, but not a whole lot. Emphasis on some. Further back, Correct trying to find the handle. Four seconds to go. Three down to one, and that is gonna go. Well, the last nine minutes of that period were very boring, but the first minute saw four goals go in. Four-one Civics after two. Back at Dollar and Civic Center, we start this third period of play. 14 minutes. I believe it'll be 14 minutes running time. Civics 4, Mohawks 1, this is U13A. Wahesu Karat has the goal for the Mohawks. As the Civics bring it in. Knocked away. And Ganawagi with the steal. Dixon got pushed. James Day after the puck. And Amonte Horn going after the loose puck in the opposite corner. James Day with the steal. Throws one to the net. Locked. And another try. The Mohawks aren't going to be able to get the shot off here. There's a pass. And Olivier Drainville sneaking in behind the defense. Drainville trying to come out in front. His pass broken up. And Day feeds one up to Amonte Horn. Couldn't get by the second Civic. Good support there. Broken up by Rowan Dybo, and that'll be cleared out the center ice. Amonte Horn got hit in the shin, and that'll be blasted to neutral ice. Monday. There's a pass that Karens deflected in the high slot. A backhander. Horn has to make the stop. A rebound. Nearly played out. Civics get it back. A shot. Save made and a rebound. Flirting his way along the blue line. And it's not out as they overskated it. Rowan Daibo in after the puck. Picked up by Dollar. Up for Day who comes in. Trying to make the play. Amonte Horn. Up for James Day who spins. Put himself offside in the process though. And... We'll have a face-off coming up outside the DDO zone. <laughs> Civic suited in. Mayo took a look and the puck, Karen passed, Paul Karen passed everyone, in fact, out the center ice. Good pressure by Corrett. Grayson Jacobs busts his way in. Jacobs tried to feed it. That pass picked off by the trailer. Jacobs left it for 
Hunter Jacobs, and he got spun around. Used that reach, though, and the Civics are going to have to start back over at their own blue line. Nashton Mayo. Got a stick in the way. Mayo. Back up for Karat, and she plays one that'll go, looks like wide of the target. Icing on the Mohawk with 11 21 to go here. Face off to the right of the Mohawk School. Jonah Gabstein has two for the Civics. Kicked out, intercepted, and away comes DDO. A backhander, good save by Horn. And back comes Jacob Paul. Paul up to Karut. What has to Karut? Got a shot away, good pad stop by the backup tender who's in there now for the Civics. A one-time attempt, missed the net. And away comes DDO. Juniki, by the way, is in nets for the DDO Civics and the puck gets to the point, not out. Kept alive and shot back into the zone. Nashton Mayo ties his man up behind the goal. <laughs> Stolen by the Civics. Here's a wrister. Hayes Horn makes a stop, a rebound. Played up to Jacob Paul, who has a look, and that pass missed its intended target, but Homer picks it up off the har harem. Back up to center ice. And DDO with the takeaway. Here's a wrister that is blocked and played out. And a foot race now for it as Grayson Jacobs is in pursuit. There's a pass up the center, intercepted. And Grayson Jacobs comes in. Jacobs got stripped. And back come the Civics up the center ice. Dixon trying to get a stick in there. And Homer's going to take a penalty here. Our first penalty of the game. It's a hook. So I, it might not be Homer, actually. I think it's actually... No, yeah, you're right. It's not Homer. It's Dixon. For a hook. Incidental contact on Homer, so... He was a call for a penalty. He just happened to skate and the two players collided. Here's the back to the point it comes. The shot blocked by Nashton Mayo. Knocked down at the point nicely. Delphin. Delphin coming in. Delphin, a backhander. Horn to stop, a rebound. And the Mohawks can't get it out of the zone. And it's kicked back to the point, but not out. And a Jay with Dooney Homer made the play. His stick went out of the ice, out of the zone as well. DDO offside if they touch it. And Homer lost his edge. Dolphin comes back with the takeaway. Dolphin up the far side. There's a pass out in front, the flex on net. Hayes horn the stop, a rebound. And Mayo got his body in the way. Kept alive at the point. Rowan Dive will put it clear, neither could they. Picked back up by Dolphin. And it's picked off. Shot the flex, but it's blocked by Mayo. Horn has a look and he will get rid of it. Steered aside. his way into Gondolagi territory, broken up. Karat played it to the point. Civics are going to hold it in here and play it back behind the Gondolagi cage. Didio setting up, pass intercepted by Karat. 
Hunter Jacobs got a stick in the way and that shot the flex wide of the target. 15 seconds left in the power play. Good point to point pass. There's a shot. Block. Loose in the slot. Did he? No, she didn't stop that. Okay, it's a goal. And that'll come with three seconds left on the power play. His second, and DDO has a full goal lead restored. Pucks on edge, a shot save made. And the rebound swallowed up. to the point of shot blocked. Dixon found on the clear. As the Civics try to get one on, it stopped and no rebound given up by Hayes Horn. Accepted by the Civics. Here's a wrist, a good stop by Hayes Horn, squaring herself to the body, uh, to the puck, and making the stop. Based off one by the Mohawks. And Homer got it up the center ice. Back comes DDO, bringing one in. Back out in front of the net, that pass is picked off by the Civics, retains control. Beat out in front. Comes out in the high slot and a good point blank range save by Hayes Horn sticking out the left pad. There's a backhander that's blocked and Mayo plays with the bell, Bell wasn't looking. And they'll retry it here. Ella Deer on one side, the Monty Horn on the other. Homer with the steal, it rolls over the stick of Horn and slapped back up to the point. Correct point defense got tied up with one of the Civics, and Hunter Jacobs sends one back into Civics territory. Too far for Horn. There's a pass up the wing, taking that center ice and shot back into the Mohawk zone. Slowed up, and the Civics may have a chance here. Good stop by Horn. She didn't go down in the butterfly. Puck is loose in the blue paint, and Hayes will cover one up. As Benzini and Hunter Jacobs get reacquainted in front of the Mohawks net. James Day taking the draw. Flanked by Jacob Paul on one wing and Grayson Jacobs on the other. Paul in close quarters. Pass out in front and Karam through the blue paint. Rowan Dybo sends one up for a day and that pass gets by everybody and back at the DDO's end of the ice. Jacob Paul. Retrieves the puck. He's got Grayson going to the net. 
Paul trying to play one back. Mohawks defensemen were changing. Mayo slaps one over to Day. Day overskates the puck and the Civics carrying it back. Shot back into Gondawagi territory. Nash and Mayo. Puck's on edge, so he just slaps one up. Takes a funny hop. Paul slowed up at the wing. Paul could not get the puck free. DDO with the takeaway. Comes out in front of one timer, and that is stopped. The rebound. A rebound squirted free for a second, and Rowan Dybo tied up with one of the DDO players. Poked up to the point, but not out. Slammed off the wing, Bella Deer. Can't find it, and it's scooped up and played to center ice. And now in DDO territory, Homer. Put it jar free, Hunter Jacobs. Couldn't get it far enough as the Civics come back. Dixon pokes it away. There's a wrister, Dixon got it in the way. Shutting down that shooting lane. And now Dixon gets up the center. Feeding one up to a Jamie Dooney Homer. Homer slowed up behind from behind and the Civics get it out to center. Dixon knocked down but makes the play. And there's a steal. And Bella Deer coming in behind the defense. Bella shoots and she ripped it wide. Kept back in by Homer. And now it's stolen by the Mohawks. DDO bringing it in. And away comes Cole. Cole looks out in front. Passed it there and Hayes Warren intercepted that pass. Try to crease the crease, post the post action. There for the Civics. Now it's intercepted by DDO. Bringing it into Gahnawagi territory. Under three minutes to go here in regulation. A shot off the side of the net. Homer picks it up. Kept himself in stride, bounces one up to Homer, and that pass is a little bit too far for him. He couldn't slow it down. Day goes to the bench. The day comes off the bench, sorry. Hunter Jacobs flicks one up, hit a DDO stick. Grayson Jacobs overskating the puck, slammed off the wall by Rowan Dybo. Puck's too fast for Grayson. Rowan knocks it over to Jacobs. Grayson Jacobs slaps one in to Dybo and Mohawks couldn't get us out of it. And three on no for the Civics. Benzini coming in. Noah Benzini slides it across and they send it wide. Benzini a rebound and a good backup by Dave. And Mayo. I think it was Mayo that might have gotten, the, gotten that one. Set, set back in by the Civics, we're down to a minute 50. Rowan Dybo deflects it out, or not out actually, just got it to as far as the point. Now brought back in by DDO. Pope back behind the Gondawagi cage. And that's it. Well, hockey season is back, folks. takes this preseason tilt by a final count of five to one. And uh, we still got about three weeks left until the season begins. But be sure to join us for our sixth year and fifth season of coverage here on Baby Blue Memories for Hockey. Don't forget before the pandemic, this was the site for our final game, March 11th, 2020 when the PWC Dollard Centennials beat the Pierre Fall Barons 2-0 in the quarterfinals. That was the last game before the shutdown in which we had. Final score tonight, Civics 5, Mohawks 1. And uh, maybe these two teams will see each other in a tournament down the line. I'm Brandon Bordeaux St. Onigiwahi from Dollard des Ormeaux.